Hello Tesla family, welcome back to Pro Tesla. So today is day four of the FSD beta and I have gotten to know the system a little more um, and I have some thoughts I'd love to share with you guys. So it has become apparently obvious that Tesla has specifically designed this for the Bay Area. So as I drive this around town, when I am in heavy traffic and tight, compact streets, this is some of the best software I've ever seen. But when you're on a road like this one here, um, it definitely is interesting. So this is the warehouse district of my town here. There's mainly semis coming up and down this road. Um, and that's why you see such wide open areas. This, this is definitely big enough for a three lane road here and it's just two lanes. And you can see there's no outside um, lane marker. So it's just one giant lane. And the roads are rough and bumpy and FSBD beta does not like it at all. It, it's having a whole lot of trouble. It kind of swerves all over the place. It goes up and down on the speed limit and it, it's rough. And then this one up here, this is definitely the most interesting place I've, I've driven the car. Now to me as a human, this seems super easy. It's like, it's just another road. Um, but for the beta, it seems impossible. So you can see there's a little bit of a large bump here in the intersection, which causes it to freak out a little bit. With the regular build autopilot, it, it would like, it would just cancel it right on the spot. But this one actually handles it pretty good. Um, it does head for the sidewalk until it gets up above the crest here and then it recorrects. But, and then as we go around this corner, you can see the speed limit changes to 25 right here. So that throws, that starts throwing the brakes on. And ooh, we got a biker up ahead. So we'll see how it handles that. I haven't had to deal with that yet. Um, okay, it's just, okay, you can go around this whole, these roads are forever wide. I'm gonna give it a little gas or a little, hit the accelerate a little bit, yep. I find it's really cautious through here. Um, and then this corner here, it usually turns this blinker on, but it gets through it just fine. I, I find every time I go through, it gets a little better, which I, I think is just absolutely amazing, but it definitely is interesting. And as we get through, yep, that was, oh, it's just going really slow. Most people do like 45 through here and the car keeps wanting to do 20. And then we're gonna pull up gets a little trouble right here. This is actually, this is one of the best it's ever done. So zero disengagements through here is uh, a first for me actually. Now it thinks the cars in the parking lot, I don't know if you saw that, the cars in the parking lot up ahead are um, waiting for this stop sign. I don't know why it slams on the gas right there. Uh, not my favorite. We'll re-engage it right here. Yep, there you go. Okay, okay, don't. Okay, and we're on the highway and as you know on the highway it handles just fine. Thanks for watching